Masquerade, hello. This is saying, oh. What was the song before here? I wasn't actually listening to it. What is it? Spooky Team. Yeah. Made by Lemon Drop and Robo Rob. They're pretty cool people. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. My day's getting pretty good now. Now that I'm streaming. Now that I'm here. Doing the stuff that I want to do. <laughs> it was only, what, three days not streaming? Big Satch. Um, uh, Mafia, I'm back. Can't just check. How long has it been since I have streamed? One, two, three. Yeah, three days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know why I didn't stream on Tuesday. Tuesday. No, I don't know why I didn't stream on Tuesday. <laughs> I think my brain's broken. No, 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 it's only been two days, actually. Today is Thursday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Brain was dying for a second. It, it's been dying all day, to be honest. Pretty good though. Mm. <sighs> oh, yeah, you know, we are so close to a three point average as well. I checked and we were like 2.9 because my three day hiatus meant that the back end of this bullshit. So I've got no ones now. There's no. Actually, you know, there is only there's only one 1 1.6 average stream that I did. Everything else is twos and threes and fours, so we're getting very close to a uh, three point average. If I can do a three point or four point today, that'll be pretty good. Um, and that should put us over, hopefully. And then I'm all good for the average game. I don't have to worry about it. Well, as much. <laughs> so honestly, affiliate would be amazing. And apparently, I think... I can get... Um, the great great boy? Yeah, um, uh, I'm almost there, I'm almost affiliate, almost, very almost, yeah, literally only need, well, technically, let's see what the exact number is, because that shit's hilarious. Let's see, the exact number is 2.87, so I need a 0 0.13 increase for a 3 point average. Um, hmm. Which means then I'll be affiliate, and that's a big thing, because I can actually start earning from doing Twitch. Also, music. Calm the fuck down. Uh, let's try something else. No. 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 Yes, it's fine. 
Oh yeah, Kirby, hi, hi, hi. I didn't know you were Kirby for a second. But hey, hi Kirby. Hmm, hopefully. Um, when I check my, I think, uh, if, ma, 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 net, uh, twitch. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm not gonna stop you. You can totally do that if you want to. <laughs> not that I want to min-max this, but I do... <laughs> anything to get me there, I guess, you know? Min max Twitch Twitch affiliate strategy. <laughs> I'm a bit. I think I'm a bit too late for min max in though. one nice one curbs yeah uh it's just been a but it's been a poor start full stop <laughs> that's how most shit goes so um for me anyways it's just a poor start unfortunately i decided to do like really long streams um really long streams all throughout like the day instead of spacing them out a little bit uh yeah i kind of fucked it up because i was doing like i did like a 24 hour stream when I was getting like zero viewers and stuff like that. Don't know why. That definitely fucked me over there. Wow, okay. That's... The fuck? Query channel, I am going to watch the... It's... I was just looking at ad, advert, advert re revenue, and it's shit. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. God. Ah. Mm. Yeah. It is very difficult. But, you know. 
over time, you find people like yourselves who are uh, loyal? Question mark. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's a good word to use for it. You come back every now and again and help out, which is always nice. It always helps. Hi, Kirby Life. Oh, hi, totally not the great, great boy. How you doing? Welcome back, Kirby. It's been a while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's great to see you in here. I was like, I just have to make a cup of tea. I'll be back in like a second. And then I'll jump into that game that I was going to play. La bomba. <laughs> wow, five viewers? Who the fuck would think? Oh shit, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's my wire. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm just fucking covered in wires right now. Bestest of the best meals. What was it yesterday? No, the day before. Tuesday. Amazing meal. Best one I've had since living on my own, to be honest. It was fucking brilliant. Glad I had it. Made me very happy. And I had a bath as well. saying I had a bath is because um, I haven't no, I haven't had showers in like I've only had showers I mean <clears throat> I've, had, I've been having showers since I was like I don't know young <laughs> so I haven't had a bath in like literal years it was very nice to just sit and soak and some hot water with bubbles, of course. 
No smellies, though, unfortunately. I lived a slight life of luxury. For a day, but, you know, it's enough for me. Also, this game's pretty cool. I've played it before, um, the intro anyway. And it's pretty fucking neat. Like, rest, rest in peace, Todd Howard, kind of neat. Ooh, mushrooms. I don't think I have any inventory. Oh, I do actually have an inventory. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not just the fact that it's pretty, it's like... It's not even Skyrim, it's something it's like a huge mod pack that's like the size of Skyrim or something maybe a little bit smaller but still the nutritiousness of meat meat is life I'm straight I take a big steak over a salad any day mix it with salad Ooh. Even the Ash people who were populating this world before us knew that each time they killed an enemy in battle, they tore out the liver and the heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beaten enemy is passed on. This is we are living in a time in which eating fellows is a nonsense, clearly seen as barbaric. We, the friends of the bloody meat, have to settle for animal sources. Hmm. Animalism? Hawk. <laughs> you love me some animalist uh, story arcs. Hmm. But also, yeah, this place is pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Oh. Yeah, and they got different. I think that was a pheasant. Or something. Mm -hmm. I think so. Scribbled note. Oh Lord Omega, I can hear you calling. I feel your love. I know about your sacrifice. Without you I am nothing. A twig on the currents of time. A sheep without a shepherd. Free me from any vices and forgive me for my trespasses. Forgive to my wife and my child. Live, live me from my pains and bless us with your everlasting mercy. Mm, lovely. Okay. Uh, let's see. Got this path. Daddy. <laughs> what up, Daddy? Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? Did I find what? No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> oh, well, who knows? <laughs> Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help mommy with the cooking? Mm. The creator was kind to us today and sent a big fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Mm. Oh, oh, yes, daddy. 
<laughs> Fucking Caillou. Kinky son of a bitch. Whatever body in this can't zoom in or out. So I didn't check down this way. Pheasant. I pheasant. How you doing, buddy? He's a bit broken. <laughs> Alright. Stamina. Okay, I know how stamina works. Hmm. A pheasant, pheasant. A pheasant, pheasant. A pheasant, pheasant. Hmm. Indeed. What do you want me to do? Go check on mommy or something? Look some beer meat. Yo, what up mom? Mm. Ooh, tomatoes. Don't mind if I do. I take all your tomatoes. Tap roots. Big bowl of fire salts. Cutlery. <laughs> oh my fucking god, that's gonna shit out of me. Fuck. I actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a jump scare. At all. Two pounds of minced meat, one chow of flour, a handful of bruised garlic, a handful of ground whisper weed, half chow of meat broth, a pinch of sugar. Boom, just a full of sugar. Help the medicine go down. Oh, is it going dark? Oh, God. This is all. Nutritious of meat, the art of crispy meat. Oh, this is not. Ugh, okay. There's a lot of meat stuff here. Hmm. Meat is life. That's, yeah, it's an amazing view, isn't it? It's not. <laughs> Ain't really much to see out of that window. Hmm. Art of crispy meat. Oh, that's fun. That's that's real fun. I don't like that. Ugh. That's that's the kind of art that you don't like. Okay, I guess we're going down here. Yeah. Hey. This is getting very creepy. I don't like it. Hi. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? But what about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead. Don't you remember? Oh. You murdered them back then. Both of them. Oh. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? Oh. At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. Yeah, I guess. I'm... You still remember how to do this, right? 
First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. Mm -hmm. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. Mm. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? I mean, the eyes <laughs> are fine, I guess. I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't kill him. It was a masked man. I think. Oh, God. Okay. I didn't kill them. Oh, silly. What's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And... Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now, please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. New used. Will it mean to be the grammar police father, but shouldn't have you used damn before the bloody? But I didn't kill him, Daddy. It was the masked man. Got that? Oh, man. by the Creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, oh, you know, oh. Sometimes oh. I wish the Creator would have made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less pious. Because then I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. Mm. And instead of raising you, feeding you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Wow. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Maybe. Just you like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the I... dead don't forget. Do you hear me? The dead don't forget. Okay. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat, you spoiled brat. Bring it to me. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat! Bring okay. me a nice crisp piece of meat! Okay. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat! Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat! Oh, oh. okay, Daddy. Oh, I think. I mean, if you wanted meat, why didn't you just ask? I got some right here. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first. Well, I have a lot of this. But I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? <laughs> For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world. Seven Arcanists, who through their magic, had acquired eternal life. In a time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most, to be ruled over with an iron-clad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the Lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. Mm -hmm. A 
and I'm being but thrown right into it. all of this was it. merely a diversion, so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, mm. its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. I want to be free. Shh, hey, Ooh. quiet, damn it. Serious, you want to wake up the entire ship or what? The Grim? Hello? Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? Don't try to fucking... Uh-huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night I'm since we met where you mind. woke up screaming, we'd probably be travelling to Andoral in our own starship and... Well, starship? not like this. Some things never change, I guess. Do you ever ask yourself if... Maybe you blame yourself for all of this. For what happened to your family, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, a ship made out of stars, or...? No, maybe. Even if I do, what difference does it make? Blame myself? What makes you think that? Well, there must be a reason that you dream the same thing over and over, mustn't there? I'm no scholar, but maybe these dreams are trying to tell you something. Oh, I, I don't know. Nonsense. Those bastards from the temple killed. Not me, and I know that. As determined as ever. I guess you're right. But... Who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. A Star War? It's strange, it isn't it? Stars? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. Really? But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. <sighs> it's amazing. Oh. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Hmm. Not our fault well, the ship is so poorly guarded and we couldn't have afforded the passage fee anyway. Not our fault. Damn it, we're thieves. Frauds. And unlike you, I actually have a problem with that. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. Mm. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Ooh. Only half. Hmm. Okay. Also, holy it. The do you know have you is has anyone here watched the book of Boba Fett at all? I don't want to spoil anything, so Has anyone here been watching it? Because I've been watching it. I don't I I'd, I'd like I mean Hmm. I mean, it, it ain't good. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, it's not particularly great. Okay, oh. Well. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want you to watch it anyways. I mean, there's like... Oh, it's so fucking stupid. Uh... I hate it. I really do. Because uh, at this point, the last two episodes haven't even been about Boba Fett. <laughs> They've just been about the Mandalorian and Luke Skywalker and Grogu and uh, all them. <laughs> the last two episodes. It's not, it's not even about Boba Fett at this point. <laughs> it's so shit. And Boba Fett is apparently a, uh, I don't know, settling down, I guess? Very weird. Yeah, pretty much. 
And not only that, but Boba Fett is completely shit. Like, it's not even the same Boba Fett. Last two episodes have been really good, but literally only because Boba Fett wasn't in it. Because the Boba Fett in this series is completely shit. Like the worst character I've ever seen. <laughs> and all the other characters around him are awful as well. But every every moment where Boba Fett isn't in it is a great moment. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hate it, I don't like it, I don't like what, what they're doing to the character, but it's the way it's going, unfortunately. They even show, um, oh, what's that other bounty hunter called? It's the blue one. I forgot what his name is, but he's such an awesome bounty hunter. And he's get, he gets shown in, like, the, the, the most recent episode. And it's just, he's, he's so fucking cool. It, like, these people know how to make cool characters and present cool characters and they just keep fucking stabbing Boba Fett and twisting the knife over and over and over again. Um, yeah. If you ever, if you ever watch the, if you, uh, not watch, read the comics on Boba Fett, love it. I mean, they even called his, they even stopped calling his, um, uh, his, uh, the original fighter ship. I've called it, is it a fighter ship or a fighter, something like that. The original one was called Slave One. Is like, yeah, the Slave One. They don't call it the Slave One anymore, they call it like the Starfire or something. <laughs> it's so dumb. By a star, I think actually, yeah. Something, something like that. He calls it by the make of the actual thing and not the slave one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently. I mean, it, it's not. Because, <laughs> I mean, for one. Boba Fett is not a good person, <laughs> like, at all, but even if it was, you know, racy, you know, he's, he's an awful person, <laughs> the cunt fucking kills and wears the uh, braids of uh, Wookiees that he's killed, like, Jesus. <laughs> He's, he's, he's terrible. Boba Fett is not a good person. He's like one of the worst people to exist in the Star Wars universe. He's not a nice guy. And in, and in this, he's just a sappy pushover. In the, in the, in the series, I mean, he's a sappy pushover. For a guy that's killed Jedi and, and Wookiees and... Uh, a lot of other people are very hard to kill. <laughs> He's very, very wussy, very pushover, very not evil. <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not great. I don't like it too much. But every moment without Boba Fett is done really well, which is kind of suspicious. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much how that, yeah. Literally. <laughs> I don't like it. There's a lot of other things that I'm not really liking at the moment from Star Wars, but hopefully there's some cool things on the horizon. I know there's a couple uh, video games coming out that's from Star Wars. I think I said Skyrim a second ago, but ignore me. <laughs> meant Star Wars. If I did say Skyrim, but I don't know. Uh, uh, 
I think. I'm not sure what it is. Star Wars Eclipse from Quantic Dream. And I don't know, people don't usually like the Quantic Dream games, but I really like them. Because they're literally like movies that you like take parts in. And usually the topics that Quantic Dream games make are pretty good. Like, yeah. I mean, gameplay-wise, gameplay they're not amazing, but I'm not really there for the gameplay. I'm there for, like, the story and the plot stuff. Yeah. And it's always fun to play them, either way. I love Quantic Dream stuff. <laughs> I've played every single Quantic Dream game, and I really like all of their games. So. I mean, yeah, I guess they're flawed in some bits, but I still like them. Some people just don't like him at all, though. <laughs> um, mm. It's a Star Wars game, so that could be interesting. Not sure how that's going to pan out. Let me just read this a second. Maybe this is one kind of mere Aranath. Aranath. Caused by decades of war, forced many a turner to escape other countries where various destinies await them. Some pursued in disregard of them. Wait, what? Oh, in the trailer. I mean. There are a lot of... It is set in... Post... Post... Or is it pre... Clone Wars? I think it's pre Clone Wars actually. Or around the time of... Yeah, yeah. A little bit. Because Yoda's there and stuff and... Hmm. It's getting like, I think it's like really on, like on the verge of Clone Wars, but not fully. It's the area before it. Before it. But tensions are high. Interesting to see, um. Yeah. Very interesting to see it. I like that, uh. The Star Wars guys. Is, I guess Disney. Of uh, basically cut off EA's um, uh, ownership of it, which is great. I'm, I'm fucking happy with that. Fuck EA and <laughs> everything they do. Um, <laughs> and and right now EA is going like, oh, we we have two, we have like four more Star Wars games on 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 the uh, on the on the back back burner. Yeah. Please, please, Disney, give, 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 give. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank God. Because those guys really don't know what to do with Star Wars anymore, I don't think. They've completely lost my interest anyway. Yeah. <laughs> No, please stop, thief in the night. Go to sleep, EA. Yeah. You're drunk. <laughs> escape to the countries where <clears throat> nothing caused by decades of war forced to turn to escape the other countries where various destinies awaited them. Some pursued and disregarded them because of their innate magic talents. Some revered them for it. Many a turn and their life as traveling minstrels. Other turn start with a bonus for elementalism, entropy, mana, and enchanting. Ooh, they have entropy in this game. This mod. I like entropy. Originating in the barren of and steppe like continent Arazil. The Arazilian are a divided people, while the nomadic natives in the steppes maintain their pantheistic and just traditions. The coastal inhabitants regard them as primitive and struggle for recognition as fully fledged part of the civilized world. Half-Arizalians start with a bonus on heavy armor, two-handed health, and a handicraft. 
Okay, so that's warrior class. This is mage class. <laughs> this is kind of people, you know, it's the belt of Kiel. Kile. Said to have reclusive mind. Leans are deemed as blessed businessmen, a room like that can be ascribed to the Blue Island Coalition, which is Vin's biggest trading company, and is located in Kile. Among other things. Of Kaleans start with a bonus on rhetorics, carrying capacity, sleight of hand, and marksman. Of Quarian. Quarians originate from the namesake desert continent, which is said to be both barren and inhospitable. At the same time, it is also known as cradle of science, mysticism, and culture. While many foreign countries are micro for its advanced culture, they are often deemed as heretical and immoral, especially on religious continents like in Daryl. Of Quarians start with a bonus on light armor, one hundred stamina, and alchemy. Okay. Well, we got okay. So we got alchemist, or the basic bitch. <laughs> you got Bowman, sneaky boy, silver tongue. You got warrior and mage. <clears throat> I'm thinking the Kalanian clan of Kalanian. K Wait, <laughs> which one is it? Kalayan or Kalanian? Kale the fuck? You can't just use both of those. <laughs> Can you? Kil Kilanian and Kilian. Kilian. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can't use both of them, but whatever. Let's see. I don't know which one to choose, to be honest. We go for magic. Although I do kind of want to go for rhetorics, carrying capacity, sleight of hand, and marksman. That's not bad. Let's look at the uh, female options. Eterna. Ukrainian. Might actually do a Turner. That's not too bad. I do like me some magic stuff, so sure. Magic's always fun. Resets are all. Look at that skin color. Ah. Huh. We expected a little bit more. It's just light or dark. <laughs> okay. Wait. Boom. Boom. It's like clipping with the weight. That's really weird. Okay. Head. Complexion. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> I'm, good. I'm good, thank you. Oh no, it won't. Okay. So we want ordinary person or corpse? Ordinary person? Corpse. Ordinary person. Corpse. The skin color doesn't even change, it's really gross. Like the skin on the body doesn't change. <laughs> Is there any difference between these two at all? No. I can't tell the difference anyway. Dirt. Gauze. Hmm. 
Cool, why not? Tattoos. Ooh. Yeah, that's cool. Make it red. Yeah. Red tattoos. Uh That's just fine. Let's do the face. Look at these nose types. Ooh. Nice, nice schnoz. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, this is all good. Nose length. Maybe we can. Ooh. Button that, button that motherfucker. Your width. Okay. Your height. Okay. Your forward. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was glitching color neck color head color. <clears throat> nice. So look at the eye shape. Eye shape. Oh, by Azura, by Azura, by Azura. I love elf eyes. <laughs> uh, they so they so weird. Ooh, lots of different eyes. Green. Blue? I like the green actually. That's actually really nice. Black. Ooh. Pretty. I like those. Be cute. Uh, all this is good, I think. Yeah, it's all good. Eyeliner color. Black or nothing. I don't think we need eyeliner. Eye shadow. Ooh, that looks not bad. Oh, eye tint. Black on black. Dark eyes. Very nice. We have those <laughs> we have those blonde eyebrows that go pretty much invisible against skin. <laughs> nice. Bushy, bushy eyebrows. Look at the mouth types. Yeah. Ooh. They're like fly underbite.
Sure, why not? With the mouth height low up down up. There we go. What's mm, this is all good. In width. In length. Chin forward. No, chin forward. Chin back. Okay, we've got a slight overweight. And lip colour, let's see. Slightly darkened lips. Cool. And then the hair. Ooh, lots of hair options apparently. I'll see. That's not bad. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Cut. Ooh, nice again. We got any like bedraggled hair? Oh, that doesn't look too bad actually. Ooh, bedraggled a little bit. Hmm. Bald. Balding. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. Ooh. Oh, are these chaos hairdos? These are chaos hairdos, aren't they? It looks like it, definitely. Ooh. Very cute. Oh. <laughs> Look at that bob. Ooh, mad. <laughs> or your average Joe haircut. <laughs> nah. Right, this one. Not too bad. Oh, this one. I actually quite like this one. Ooh. Like, pink slightly. Oh, but it just kind of fuck with the head a little bit. It's not too bad, but... Chocolate brown. Mm. Red ish. Brown. Black. Black. And then like blonde, I guess. Kind of. Not really. Like peach. Oh, my eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't like that. That looks like somebody as well. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? We'll do that. Finish the name of character. Cancel or close. Close. Murderous hobo. I guess so, yeah. I 
I guess. Where, where is that one? What is this one? Oh, this one. <laughs> Actually, the brown hair. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Actually, I like. I quite like that. Brown or red? Brown. Brown or red? Brown. Red. Brown. Brown is a little less conflicting. Red, uh, old girl. Red, do a yobo. We will be. Mwada. Mwada. They call me Mwada. I'm not a Mwada. Herkader. Oh, why not? Yeah, Mwada. Mwada. An Eterna! Right! She was one of the last of her kind to leave Maya Awanath, wasn't she? Yes. Ironic. Seems some parents pass on their fates to their children. <sighs> anyway. Whew. I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? Oh, the candle. Shit. Someone's coming. Women nowadays just don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt, nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Now, where did I put that key? Oh, blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. <laughs> ah, here we go. Ah, it smells like Vartier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small. With the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, oh, yeah, right, right. That Black down. Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find oh, it. Oh, no, that's here. not good. Okay. Uh. Oh, shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! Oh, shit. What? Okay. Wrong place, wrong time. Throw hook to the face. Come on, Dodge. You can do it. <laughs> Sorry, old man. God. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Let me do that. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> Not at all. Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? Um, hope they have brain damage and are asleep for longer than a few minutes. <laughs> or knocked out for a few, more than a few minutes. Oh, <laughs> let's kill them. Jeez. Maybe we should tear ourselves in. Let's tie them up and gag them. When we arrive, we sneak out. <sighs> what do we want to do? Do we want to make evil roots or do we want to be... Sneaky... Chaotic good.
Or neutral good, maybe. It's probably. Ugh, cold. Tie them up and gag them. When we arrive, we sneak out. Let's kill them. It's safer that way. It is safer if we kill them. I'm tempted to be evil. I don't think Sirius will follow me on that way. Yeah. Kill them! Blazes, are you out of your mind? I don't want to stop a new life as a m- oh, oh, by the god. Tie them up. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, that's it. We need to tie them up and gag them. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on, help me search. There must be a rope or something. And I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. It just can't ever be easy, can it? No, unfortunately. Does one of them have the key on? No. We're a knife up here. Interact. Oh, rope. End of souls. Oh dear. The probabilities have turned against Break. you. Mike's breaking. What the? Who are you? Hi. You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. Oh. As are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you, for your intentions were not evil, and I believe you, but mm. sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. Oh dear. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. Ah. This is the way it has to be. Are you one of those, The uh, way it has been for eons. Fortune, uh... I am sorry. Oh god. What the? Oh no! No! What are you doing? Please! Just don't leave! We, we, just, we just wanted to! Oh, it's... okay. After we had left Ostin, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Yes. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yep. Yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance. Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Uh. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived, Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know you're kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up. 
Ruger. But, Captain, they... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in their room. Oh. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no. I... Ooh. He's nasty. Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. I don't Tie know. her and her comrade together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. Oh. Ouch. I don't know if she's holding a thing like that. You shouldn't have done that, lady. You've ran into the. I'm gonna be a guy. Tell me, what is time? I'm the dead. I'm dreaming anyway. So many people just talk, 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 and How never. How to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, Tina. I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I'm evil. It's just. And there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this just isn't happening. What is reality anyway? Selfish fool! Okay then. Uh, there's, there's a light and oh, what? Where? Where am I? Good fucking question. The fuck is this? Oh, so uh, skill trees or skill lists. Leave the world in between by meditating with Y. Can I do anything with this? Lickanthrope. Ah. Tempest. Net of souls. Ooh. 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 Focus. Arcane might. Concentration. Oh my god. Okay. This is a lot. Use of science. Entropy. Let's well stay 50% longer in effect. Entropy spells can seem 20% of health. Let's well stay Stay in at the 13% longer effect. Enters of the dark arts. Whoa. Sinistrope. Oh, planet picture. Myth. Devour soul. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Do you like some dark stuff? Death mage. All spells against undead are thirty percent more effective. Cool. Ooh, all these sound fucking awesome. Shock Nova. <laughs> what the fuck? A little wave of electrical energy around you, which staggers enemies, and then summons a lightning bolt hitting them. <laughs> Holy fuck! That sounds awesome. Mystical binding. Devour soul. Devour the soul of a dead enemy and absorbs a part of their health and manner and stamina. Whoa. What's this? Wolf blood. This memory allows you to use wolf blood potions and chimica as a means of to transform into a werewolf. On this day, the duration of your transformation will do at most three minutes. It's a werewolf form. It's calculated for many factors. First of all, your alchemy level, your attributes and your weapons, such spells. Individual aspects of a transformation can be enhanced with Gimmicka. The Lycanthropy is compatible for 
every style of playing. Huh. Portable laboratory. Okay. Mangle. Ooh. Looks a devastating claw attack. Okay. Instinct. Call of the hunt. Stalk. Dark alchemist. Detoxification. Silent hunt. Mimicry. Aether blood. Black alchemist. Aether blood. Instead of your stamina, either your stamina or your mana effects will strengthen the wolf form, depending on which attribute is higher. Ooh. The wolf form is now concealed for humans. You can eat into villages and cities without transforming back. <laughs> cool. Assassination. Heart shot, knife thrust, flash powder, swindler, roll, fence, silent feet, bloodlust, pickpocket, seducer, ghost walk, warrior of the shadows, strong bowstring, skilled hands. Okay, so this is archery, this is armor. Yes, armor and. Okay. And this is... Sneaking and... Plates, I guess. What is this? Oh, it's just a plinth. <laughs> or... What is this? Oh, okay. This is a warrior. Probably not going to tap into that whatsoever. What is this? And this is... Memories of the Phasmalist allow you to go to companion story from the souls of dead people. By using your knowledge and enchanting, the Phasmalist can be used with every style of playing warrior, mage, and rogue assassin. It allows you to see and collect souls. Ooh. Summon Aberration. Soulsmith. Souls, man. You can make talismans with souls of the rank one at war. Oh, that's cool. This is actually really cool. Essence splitting. Transmutation. Transmutation. You killed enemies and soldiers from normal corpses. Okay. Yo. Well, I'd definitely be tempted to look at this. Uh, probably do this, though. You also receive a permanently boosted mana duration as well for the talent focus, which lowers the mana cost for all spells by 33% for sure. Yeah, I might as well do this, and then... Cool. We're taking the mage route. I already made that decision, but... It's a very cool leveling up system. Mm -hmm. This is a very cool... Landscapes. Ooh, is that a Nern root? Is that, is that one of those Nern roots? Is that a Nern root that I see? Oh, it's a Vin root. Okay. <laughs> cool. Oh, those Vin, <laughs> Vin Diesel roots. All about um, family and all that. Hmm. 
Fungi. What a fun guy. <sighs> Is there anything under this water? Here. There'll be something over here. No? Okay. Whole lot of nothing. Like this. Let's see. Moida. Fast adventurer. Level 1. Running point zero. Pepper point zero. Memory point zero. Bionics. Let's have a look at all this. Silent slides do go to use control the mind of it. Oh, actually, I'm saying let's go out of It's fucking. Sign minor the enemies, higher science builds the sign of science spells cost, science is a predict of the memories of the sinistrope. Elementalism. Students of the elementalism are capable of using the power of the elements against their enemies. The higher elemental skills lower the mana cost of elementalism. Elements kept. Elementalism is a root of marriage. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> elementalist. All the mentalism allow you to summon spectral shields or to make your skin as hard as iron. The high mentalism skill, the less mana mental spell costs. Mentalism is subject to the memories of the Thaumaturge. One handed swords, maces, daggers, or one handed axes. Okay. Looking determines. Lockings of the Keeper. Extra. Entropy. Within school, the entropy allows you to stop all forbidden. Summon creatures from other realities to trap the souls of your enemies and to use entropic, entropic death magic. <laughs> yes. Death magic. That would be a fucking death mage. Entropy mage. Entropy is subject to the memories of the sinister. Hell yeah. Light magic. <laughs> Fuck no. It's like the um, <laughs> what is it, the Kanye meme or whatever. <laughs> Light magic. No. <laughs> Entropy. Hell yeah. <laughs> you handed light armor. Heavy armor. Subject to the memories of the vagrant. Sneak. Sneak allows you to move unnoticed into a bum shroomy. Sneak is subject to the memories of the infiltrator. Why do we have pluses to all these? Fever. 
Ooh. Raise the fever when your fever increases. You first get Malai. Once it hits a hundred percent, you die. <laughs> okay. Experience point. As magic user. Ooh, so it's like um it's like uh the Witcher a little bit with toxicity. Enchanting. Ice Cavalry really allows for more powerful enchantments. Enchanting is a victim for memories of the Phasmalis alchemy. And deadly poison alchemy subjects to the memories of the vagrant and lycanthrope. Slight of hand. Yep. Yeah. picking. Yep. Rhetoric. Conversations get additional information. Or even alternate noise to success for dialogue. Also improves the voices of merchants. Rhetoric is much subject to a memory. Cool. I'm assuming rhetoric just levels up then. It's neat. Uh, uh. Uh, what was the other one? J. Find a way to reach inland. Sirius is dead and I am up. Oh shit. They want Will it never come to an end? It haunts me no matter where I am. And whenever I wake up, there is a bitter aftertaste, the queasy feeling in the stomach. Perhaps everything changes once Sirius and I arrive. Find a rope. This fits with us. Sirius is dead and I am alive. I write these words, but I'm not sure if I'm understanding them at least one bit. I'm on my own. Apparently, I had luck. I've woken a valley basin. This has to be in Dural. I'm feeling strange, feverish, and weak, as well as strong and clear. This veil had been in front of my eyes for my entire life, which was now lifted now. I'm also remembering a weird dream which I had before I woke up. It was the veil woman who subdued Cyrus and me in the ship's bow. In the ship's bow? Isn't a... Isn't the bow the back? I suppose we were in the... Yeah, we were in it, I guess. So, yeah, sure. It all begins with the brilliance, I remember. <laughs> I need answers, and I can find those most likely on shore. Cool. Okay. Let's find some answers. However the fuck we do that. Do I have, or I do have magic? Oh wait, I don't have magic. I have no magic. Increase entropy in armor to two. Oh, this is my. Okay. Ooh. A rune, just like in the vision. Fleshless lost one. Ooh. That'll come in handy. Shovel, pickaxe. Iron ore. Don't know if that has any uh, <laughs> uses, but. Yeah, it'll be good to figure it out, I guess. How much carry weight do I have? Mm, enough. I'll take some. Whoa. Let's do it. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have anything better than no i've just got rattled clothes apparently
Is there anything in this barrel? No. Oh, what is that? What are those? Oh god, they're like skeevers. Pit rats. I love them. I don't get any fucking diseases from them. You were an experience from me. Cool. Thanks, tutorial. I know how experience points work. I'm what, I'm what the kids call a gamer. Or at least... Oh. Flower. Wheat. Wheat. I know. Yes. But, uh... Yeah, I'll probably drop these. That looks like... I don't think I've ever seen flower that was orange before. Guess we go in. Unless. Ah, okay. Going in. The abandoned devil. Ooh. Oops. I don't mean to do that. Hogs, but. Oh hey, it's the thing from the thing earlier. You received one learning point. What? What was that? What did I just do? The fuck? Roll of boom. <coughs> I don't know what that tutorial just... I missed it. Was it talking about... no? I don't know. I have a point though, apparently. Uh, what does this let me do? For reason the first list allow you to construct ghostly companions for you from the souls of dead people. We'll use new knowledge and enchanting. The first list can be used with every single... I'd quite like to get this. But I'm assuming I can't. Yeah. Wait, what should I... Did I not get a point? Learning point. It's learning... Wait. Oh, it told me. You need them to use learning books which raise your combat-related skills and which you can buy from... Ah. Okay. Interesting. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm big brain right now. My brain's fucking huge. And it's, it's getting even bigger. It's getting, getting massive. Rune key. Ooh, it's making the same music from the, uh, the dream. Oh, Weird. But also very cool. Learning book, one-handed apprentice. Cool. I actually learned that. 
Is there any of the learning books? Or is there just some? I suppose I might as well take it. At least one handed by one sixteen. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. in my face. This is right. Six percent. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just looking. I'm just looking around. Radiation, almost. Oh. Ugh, okay. Twenty percent. Not too bad, but a little bit scary. learning books apparently inedible beer Ooh. inedible beer well it's a good job I'm not going to try and eat it There were corpses here, weren't there? The burnt ones. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going back. Is there something like that? Fucking naked, aren't I? Jeez. Use some clothes. Nation. Ooh, key of the forgotten temple. Neat. I'll take some random scrap metal of an ancient nation. Sure, why not? Why not? Sure, 
Oh, that'll be grand. Can I use that up here? Possibly. Maybe. As long as it doesn't want to kill me. not like me being in there. Oh. Oh, sir, it's not, it's not. No. Some hour long rest. Abandoned them. Ooh. Well, this is the thing we saw. No, this is the thing we saw in the. Um. The. Uh, what, what you call it? Intro sequence. I think, but it's completely fucked now. <laughs> Maybe not much. Maybe that. Ooh! Ice Claw. You found an Ice Claw. Permanently raises your carry rate by one point when eaten. Ooh! Pretty neat. I love a bit of um, promotion of exploration. That's always good. In my books. It actually makes an interesting... Uh, an interesting... Uh, push toward exploring. God. Oh, I'm falling. Shall we? Uh, spell time grounding lightning that does seven points of shock damage and half as much of mana. Ooh. Ooh. Heal the forgotten time. It's another. Ice cool. Use your carrying capacity permanently. Ooh. I have five pennies. You can't, you can't see it because it's behind me, but it does say <laughs> it's next to my stamina bar. Five pennies. <sighs> Do I have any learning points? I don't have any learning points, okay. Ambrosia. Oh, cool. Like the magic sounds as well. Mana potion. 
ocean rancid, all time boom. What did that do? Oh, it lifted that up. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I burnt corpse. Hmm. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. I did come from a family that loved meat. So. Apparently, anyways. All time boom. Use the cast for six point four seconds. What's the What's the fever could be lessened by the boat and the light? Okay. This 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 dude just fucking sees me. Like definitely sees me. I don't think he minds too much that. Yeah. Oh no, he definitely minds that I'm here. Blueprint, iron boots. Ooh. Horseshoe, plane. Oh, a plane. Okay, sure. Or a smoking pipe. Can I use that? I'm assuming not. Horseshoe. Pool, apparently. Okay. Mud elemental. My arm is broken. Please. Indralian penny. Ooh. <laughs> Looks via. What does that say? Et. Ver. Veret. Veretas. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. Murmunda. All time psionic rush. Cool. Get fucked, mud. Fucking mud golem. Ooh. She a cat. Mm, let's eat some human flesh. Ah, oh, lovely. And some small crowns and thistles. <laughs> mm. Ooh, some better clothes. And Dralian crusty bread. Mm. They shaped for 240 seconds and run long dated health regeneration. Out of combat, the higher health total, the more health will be generated. Heals you by six points of health. Satiate. Do I have to worry about food in this? Probably do. Oh. Oh, wait. 240 seconds. I'm assuming that's... Okay. A knife. 
That is a knife. Sure, why not? Let's take a knife. Can I can always use a knife, I guess. Put these clothes on. That's not a knife. It's a knife. Hey, look. Put some nice clothes on for a change. Oh, nice uh, clothes. <laughs> and some boots. Two sun coasts. The rare. Bruce's father. Has to pay them a tribute or they will lose their protection. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Likes mana from night to height. I'm not sure it's from mana. Okay. Level two, you receive five learning points, four crafting points, and one memory point. Choose an attribute you want to raise. Was mana, really? Cool. Crafting point. You receive crafting points with each level up. You need them to use your workmanship guides, which raise your arts and skills. Artisanal skills. Flame light. 
Bell Tome, a gout of fire that does six points of fire damage with their targets on. Ooh. I'll do that, sure. We've got a bunch of stuff now. Let me just sign it with. Okay. Mm. This will probably do good for now, seeing as it's fire damage over time, and I'm not sure if we're going to go up against go up against much that's ancient crystal coin. Uh, we're not going to go against much that's not fleshy. Unless there's a bunch of mechanical stuff here. I corpse. Oh. What? Search corpse. Heavy leather boots. Mm. Oh, ambrosia. Magic symbol. Old sword. Okay, cool. Why not? Sun curse. Hopefully you're dead. Oh, hello. Hello. Native troll. Head to step on that trap. <sighs> nice. Nice. You're fucked. Native troll. <laughs> Just fucking dug into that motherfucker and slurped up his fat. Ew. That's nasty. Ooh. I guess I'll put on these. Very nice. Old vagrant dress. Oh god. Oh, I thought I stepped on it then. <laughs> I was about to come become. Some wild berries. Well, this won't take be horrible. Weakness to magic. I. Oh. oh. That's just a wolf. Oh, not a dog. That's a wolf. Unlucky vagrant. Life absorption. Ooh. I'll take some life absorption. 
Oh yeah. Probably not really much of a point using it just yet. Oh. Where are we to get up there? Anymore, there's not. What's that sound? Is that a bot? Is that, is it, is that a bot? Is that a bot? Is that a bot? Is that a bot that I've got to kill? One second. You. Motherfucker. You can come in here. Read your bullshit in here. No. You get purged, motherfucker. You get fucked. You're dunked on. You know what's in here. Die. You were bot, you get the death sentence, motherfucker. Learning book, light magic. Ooh. Oh. Boom meal. You like myself a skull. Probably eat some noms. There we go. This is very cool. I'm just gonna assume that that's nothing. <laughs>
Oh. It is definitely a corpse. Rattled robe of magic. Ooh. Oh, yes. I'll take that. Hell yeah, I'll take those. And those leather boots as well. Hell yeah. We're looking, we're looking great. Good. Muscle meat. Mm. Love me some muscles. Ooh, firefly. But that's a big boy. Yo, is that one of those Vin roots? One of those family roots? Those roots that are all about family? And fast cars. Ooh. Ants. Morning air. I don't mind if I do. Hi. Now, would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. Ooh, I do like what to brings you me. here, my dame? Oh, I tell you what, my master, uh, I like me some good old scramble, some scrambled eggs, and scrambling up mountains. I do. Uh... <sighs> None of your fucking business, mate. <laughs> I know that accent. You're Neremese, aren't you? Though no. obviously not the most sociable of fellows, it would seem. You... Me? Yes, me. There oh. we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? It's me. <sighs> Just an adventurer on her way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this girl isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're st standing here, having a chat with her as if we were in the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret I mean, it. I'm behind your friend right now. I don't think. <sighs> oh, there you go. <laughs> May I present. Carbos, as he lives and breathes. He's very pleasant. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. It's all good. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Ah, Riverville. here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Is it a village on Your the edge eyes. of the river? <laughs> ah, well, whatever. Your eyes don't look too good either, mate. They've been uh, taking a bit too much skooma, if you ask me. Yeah, your fucking whatever that is knows it as well. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh. Uh. What's. What about my mm. eyes? There's something mm, peculiar about you. Mm. I don't know how okay. else to mm. say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So, if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Who knows? Maybe you caught something in that temple. Maybe. Hopefully not. <laughs> I don't need any ancient aids right now. <laughs> us? Oh, nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. We gather herbs, but tomorrow we're going back north, to League. To League? <sighs> you should stop by one day if you're in the area. Someone who scours Pyrian ruins and survives could surely be useful to the apothecary and help us find some things. I love all these different fucking British accents. It's great. Well, English accents I prefer to say, but whatever. 
I traded some goods with you. I found some things in the ridge. That's um t village. Is it Cockney? No, it's not Cockney. Is it Cockney? Maybe. I don't know. I just know it's an accent. You know more about this region? Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area, except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. Hmm. I see. And there are places that might be of interest to an adventurer. To an adventurer? <laughs> If you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut-eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. Right there. It was once an old mm. trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, don't mind if I just look at my toes for a minute. Sorry, mate. Let's uh, check myself over. You said you were apothecarious by my path. What do you mean by my path? <laughs> by the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Hmm. Role designated by Malthus? You mean the gods assign your professions uh, to you? Not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society. Generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. Mm. I walk the path of the Erodites. And there's also the manufacturers, the sublimes, and, of Ooh, course, the sublime. pathless. Within these roles, we are free to choose a profession, but certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer which is one path below okay. however below does not mean that it is in any way inferior everyone on enderal does what they do best and who would know better than the gods what exactly that is i guess and builders are pretty fucking important the whole reason you have roofs over your head you know <laughs> Aren't you frustrated by being bound to the path that you want to advance? In the folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to advance. <laughs> I am interested in living the righteous path and to mm -hmm. contribute to the preservation of my people. That's, well, that's enough for me. And only the faithful will be granted the eternal paths upon death. Hmm. That sounds like fear mongering. But I won't get into that. There's rumor that the gods are dead. <laughs> and over here, there's a rumor that the Golden Queen has a weakness for men in gowns. <laughs> Seriously, be careful with that kind of gossip. I know you don't mean any harm, but there are a few who might consider it heresy. Ah. Well, down with the heretics, I say. <laughs> Heresy, brother. Why? I've never heard of it. <laughs> Kill the heretics. Blood for the good blood god. Goals for the skull. No. <laughs> and then buy Sigma or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Bless this holy corpse. Or whatever the fuck the saying is. I know where these paths Men or women who have never received the path consecration, or those who have broken their path. This Brigands, this glimmer dust smugglers, murderous. Well, you know. Hmm. Just an idea yourself. Just an idea. What? Maybe. 
But if I look at other countries, even within the civilized world, it's hard to find a people as peaceful as ours. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Tracy, because we have found some things in the ruins. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Maybe. I have some shit to sell to you. I have pennies. I have lots of pennies. Big pennies, small pennies. Oh, wait. He doesn't want to buy my... Oh, okay. Uh... Beef, green apple, pork, meat, wine, learning book, sneak, learning book, one-handed, mentalism, marksman, oh, 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 this is Finn, not me, there we go, amethyst. This is all ingots, apparently. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Boom, 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 boom. Goblet of an ancient nation. Bowl of an ancient nation. Blueprint. Iron boots. Probably won't use that. Animal, ancient, animal crystal coin, ancient crystal value four. Might I hold on to these? You never know. Well, they might be useful. Muscle me. Old but boom. I already have boom though. I don't need it. Uh, let's see. Potion of protection. Mana potion. Morning air potion. I mean, these are all helpful. Selling these clothes and shit. Oh, he doesn't have any bennies. Let's buy some stuff from him then. See what he's got. Put some ambrosia. Some rancid health potions, apparently. Ugh. Ugh. Life absorb. Oh, I already have that. Ah. Uh. I don't have enough money for that. What does that plus four mean? Oh, is that because of speech? Question mark. Maybe. Uh, mentalism. Light magic. Oh. Uh. I think mentalism is in the sin, sin thing, so. Not sure about elementalism. Could probably use both, anyways. I have enough. Oh, I've got no money. I'll just sell him some more stuff then. Like this long bow, right? 
and sword and knife and arrows. Yeah. And sword and I'll keep the big axe. I'll probably sell him this as well. Mm, amethyst, yes. Why not? Bin. That's it for now, but don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. I oh, will. Carbos, do we need the still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Place is Finn. I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> <laughs> I guess that means no. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. The gods just slapped me around the back of the head, I guess. Cool. Fantastic. Increase mentalism for apprentice up. Okay. What's well, one big fucking ocean? Don't get on my nerves. Oh, right, Carbos, calm down, but... They're just gonna let me take these? Okay, they're just gonna let me take them. Alright, right one. Hmm? By the righteous path! What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. We did. Yes, I've suddenly had the kind of fever that it could be. Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Sit oh, down. so now we're brewing potions for complete strangers. Well, if the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. There was that oath we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Whatever. Thank you. Gruntrudes, Gruntrudes. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Sounds like uh, Goron over there could use a few less Gruntrudes. That's me. So let's see. Or we could use Sheer a couple actually. Cup, some water. Wink. Ha! Done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but. Finn, the still. Explosion. Wait, wait. Ha ha ha. Do something, damn it. Do something. Oh, no. Oh. What? Oh, sod it. To watch every step you take that was a fucking close call <laughs> hey i'm sorry all right we'll pick up a new one in arc <laughs> yeah and you're paying for it here i thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse <sighs> this day isn't getting any better here drink this it'll help you <laughs> that was cool Crazy but cool. See, you already look a lot better. Ooh, Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. Alright. Thanks, but what in blazes just happened now? What? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. <sighs> The explosion the voices, they were yours. Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I'll follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleris. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. <laughs> ha ha. Look, 
I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? Oh no. It was just the wind. Just say it was just the wind. Say it was just the wind. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. He's gonna get an arrow right for the fucking face, isn't he? Oh shit! Uh, yeah. What the? <laughs> saw that one going. They, they've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. Nope. Can I get up? They've hit me. Let me get up. Uh, <laughs> Carbos, I. Do something, damn it! Do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Now look at that. Our mysterious survivor has awoken. Mm. Okay. I've, it's just, there's just too many moments where I've been fucking slapped and knocked out. And I've probably got brain damage. It's probably. Wrath will book out my inner love. Monkey you. Jaspar Matumiel Delveric. Jaspar for short. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. Wow. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into the thicket. Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever, well, that's a different story. Uh huh. I keep being told that. <laughs> I was on the perimeter, and no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I'm quite fond of my entrails. I wish I had a more heroic <laughs> answer, but I don't. Sorry. I mean, different between being smart and heroic. Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? Sure. You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, and drinking potions or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow in your head. Yes. Well then, congratulations. Your magical talent just blossomed. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. That's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let an arcanist treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. Hmm. Am I too big? I think I'm too big right now. I'm a bit too big. It's just... Whoop. It's become tiny Aki for a moment. That's really... There we go. Contain it, not cure it. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive than someone without magical gifts. But that's tolerable compared to what your magic will allow you to do. Hmm. Contain it, not cure it. Okay. I mean by a little sensitive. Prone to certain conditions. As I said, your fever will get worse if you drink healing potions. But you'll also be a lot more susceptible to nightmares and those kinds of things. Mm. Also, you should be very cautious of areas with magical contamination, such as Thalgard in the east. Is there any way to stop it? If I contain the fever but let it get worse, what are the consequences? At first, diffuse headaches, and general unease. Later on, your eyesight will blur, your limbs will grow weak, and you'll get a maddening itch all over your body. If you leave it untreated for too long, you'll either die or turn into an Orbaya. <laughs> it could kill me, and what's an Orbaya? Yes, Orbaya? it can kill you. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And an Orbaya is basically a giant undead version of yourself with tumors and pus all over your body. Mm, like Just never let the fever get too bad. <laughs> so what you're saying is... I couldn't get on the first page of Victoria's Secret if I uh, used too much potions. All right, that's fine. Well, there's ambrosia, but for an uncontained fever, it'll only postpone the symptoms. All right. Later, you can drink it whenever the fever gets worse. 
The stuff looks and tastes like undead sweat and is bloody expensive, but it's the only thing that really helps. Hmm. Huh. What about these visions? Are they also caused by the fever? You have visions? Yes, ever since I had this fever, I've got these strange premonitions of things which are about to happen. Are they also a symptom? Um, not that I know of. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Hmm. You know what? As I said, someone needs to contain your fever as soon as possible. And as it happens, I know people. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. What did you do in that temple? And what's the story with those visions? Huh? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you, and that intrigues me. What do you say? Well, you're pretty intriguing yourself, Mr. Jesper Dalveric. Well, then, the stage is yours. I see. My condolences for your loss. <laughs> so, let me summarize. You somehow survived getting thrown into the open sea, and while you were half dead, had this dream in which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light? Hmm. Yes, yeah, but it was still a dream. It was all like a memory. It's something I saw it in. It was the same as the one in the valley. Huh. And you also said that your magic didn't develop gradually, as it usually does, but all at once. What right? is that? Oh. Ugh. Right after I washed up on the shore, yes, together with those visions. Well, that's quite the story. I guess you know how absurd it sounds, but for some reason, I believe you. I've met a lot of liars in my life, and you aren't one of them. Oh, thanks. All right, it's settled then. I'll introduce you to my employer and ask him to treat you. Before we leave, however, there's something else I need to take care of, and I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can make for Ark. Sure. What's Ark? Ark? The capital of this country? Walls high as towers of iron hard stone rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned. Never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by Malthus and blah 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 and so on and so forth. You're going to see it soon. Oh god, okay. <laughs> what if I want to do this on my own? I want to know more. Uh, I'm well, before. aren't you curious? I work for the Holy Order. Okay. It's the Holy Order. <laughs> yeah, but they're more than just a military unit here. Enderal belongs to Malthus, the Guardian God, and the Order answers directly to him. In other words, they're calling the shots here. No king, no queen, no council. Just an order of noble warriors always looking so stern and joyless that you might think they're struggling with constipation. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll help you. That's why I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. You'll need some information before you can help me, though. I take it the fact that Vin has seen better times hasn't eluded your attention, has it? For the last two uh, years, there have been wars and unrest everywhere. And even though in Enderal there's decent. officially peace, there are peculiar things happening here, too. Normally docile animals and petirs attacking wanderers in the open. The dead awakening in hordes. It, it's unsettling, to say the least. You hear that wolf, or is it just... The strangest thing, however, is the red madness. Red madness? Uh... Everyone there talks about them. Yeah, the rumors. I, I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true, and that there's a connection, yes. Then you know that you actually believe that someone did kill the gods, the Lightborn. As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than imposters anyway. False gods. Uh... <laughs> Entralians were the most pious people in the civilized world. Oh, I'm hardly representative. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And the false deity theory isn't that new after all, is it? Seriously, say the Lightborn really are as mighty as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to call down lightning on me right here and right now to punish me for my insolence? No. The Lightborn were immortal kings, and that's all. At least, 
That's how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Uh, still waiting for that lightning. <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. <laughs> but we digress. Until I see it. Ain't shit. Alright, you mentioned something about Red Menace. But I'm always prepared for it. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their mind. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a smith in Ark who butchered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young woman of noble path who set her own house on fire while her family was asleep. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen incidents in a very short period of time. Mm. The fact that the afflicted's eyes glow red while they go rampant has made people call the disease the red madness. Thing is, some weeks ago it happened again, only this time it was a magister from the Holy Order itself. A magister? A teacher who instructs the novices aspiring to become keepers. His name was Yarrow, a man with more than 60 winners on his back. What did he do? Well, according to the sole survivor, he entered the teaching room that day as usual, but instead of giving his lecture on alchemy, he gave a strange kind of speech where he kept going on about how mankind is corrupted and that it has succumbed to the void. Then his eyes started glowing, he locked the door and blew himself up in a magical explosion. That's, uh, great. There's a rule in all this. He said you work for the Order, but it take it you're a no monk. That's pretty horrible. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm not one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. My specialty is recovering lost things. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. Oh. And the Order hired me to do just that. They want to know how a man like Yarrow could fall victim to the Red Madness. Mm. And thus, if there's something like a pattern to this malady. You're after his motives. But how can I help you with that? I don't know anything about this magister. Doesn't matter. Yero grew up in a small village not far from here, and according to the order, he visited it quite often after his partner died. What I want your help with is finding clues as to why he did what he did. What do you think? Uh, sounds like a plan. Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred, a childhood friend of Yero's. Ask him what he makes of the incident, Ugh. whether he has any explanation for it. Secondly, a farm boy told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it washed up. Okay. I myself will take a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Okay. Ah, and here. This is a map of the region. Yarrow's house is at the blue dot. Oh. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. Will do. Ooh. Mark Bourne and all stars they indicate the difficulty of said quest, and at the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Very easy, easy, medium, or hard. Okay. Uh, they're both easy. Okay. Or very easy. Ooh, don't mind if I take that. Ooh, pumpkin plant. Holly. Holly. Ooh, the Butcher of Ark. Oh jeez. They call me the Butcher. It hurts to write these words though I'm aware of the truth. You were called a marked by dozens of corpses. Oh, wow, okay. This is an entire book. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Read all volumes of... 
Because I'll take it. Find the strong boxes. Alfred. Into the sea near his house. Do I have a map? I do. Oh, look at this, this world map. This is super cool. Actually, looks like I've laid it out on like a table as well. I like it. The Red Sea. The Isle of Cork. Ooh, cool. This is where I am. Okay. of the apothecary. Ooh. Cool. I love that. Uh, that looks awesome. The design, anyway. Sweet. Put that in a pipe. blue quartz in here. <laughs> this, this isn't a fishing location, it's like a mine. Or, well, it's like a A large sifting thing? I don't really call it. I can't think of the words for it. <laughs> mm. Is this the guy that was shooting? Oh. This is a nice claw. Frost resistance. Increase your carrying cross with that. I'll do that.
That doesn't sound good. Alchemy workbench. Interesting. Very good at this alchemy business, <laughs> apparently. Uh, ooh. Those are like real life paintings, aren't they? Definitely. Those are definitely real world paintings. At least I think they are. This one is, isn't it? Not sure about that one. Or that one, but that one down there definitely. Well, it was. Looks like it. Was. Oil puddle. Oh. Recipe for um, ooh, ambrosia, elders root and vin root. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Probably should use that for for one of them. Ooh, Ambrosia. That'll be helpful. Spider Venom. More Spider Venom. Very nice. Just numb on those things. Increase arcane fever. Why would I want to do that? Oh.
Hmm. Wait, hold on a second. Let's uh, numb on these spider eggs. Ocean wolf blood. Transform into wolf form for some reason. Whoa. Cool. Exhaust the water from reverse agents while leaving its other effects untouched. else in this work so we'll have to get some more supplies learn a bunch of stuff though if there's anything from Skyrim that I do actually like it's the uh definitely the um the potion making aspect of it that is quite fun to do close one. <laughs> He's... Wait, what? Attention. Order of the protected land. Behind this mountain in the past there will be no protection against pathless ones. Travelers beware of rockfall and assault. Okay. Well, it seems like everything wants to kill me then. Great. Fantastic. Exactly what I need in my life. The butcher. Need some more Vin Diesel roots. Doesn't. <laughs> oh, your body cannot tolerate wolf blood and oh god. Don't kill me. <laughs> La please. Oh. Yeah, this wolf blood won't work just yet. Very quickly. Oh God. Okay. It's not like. A 
on flux motion. Take people scolding. This is where I just came from. I think this is not bad. Hop, hop, hop. Okay, it's not that big. I did level up. Uh, more mana, please. Big, big mana. Big mana time. Yes. <laughs> I keep a gun goblin. What I should become. I should become a goblin. I should. I should just be a goblin VTuber. <laughs> or a uh, virtual creator. A VC. Oh. Got, got, 
Is that about something being added to my inventory? This. Blue Malthus flower. Okay. Hmm. I like the music. Music. Very nice. Music is what we call very nice. Hit what you can't see, motherfucker. That's a crate. Ooh, that's a nice claw. Um, 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 um. I eat these shrooms, they make me strong. Yes. It's strong on shrooms. Hell yeah. Not promoting drug use or anything, but <laughs> empty. Oh, hmm. leather, nails, poison of woe. Okay. Right. Spare part. Not sure what these spare parts do, but they're very light, apparently. Hi. Very nice. Heavy leather boots. Old vagrant hut. Ooh. Ooh, what is that? 
Tome Summon Ghostly Wolf. Rattled Rope. Wait, what? I want that. What is that? Someone's a ghostly wolf. Ooh, ooh. Don't mind if I do. And what about that? That old rope? Mm. I think I need the magic regen. A little bit more. A little bit more than that. Might. Toolbox. Sack. Air parts. Iron sword, iron helmet. Horse shoe. Uh, is that it? Apparently so. Didn't see that. Anything else I can rummage through here? I didn't see before. Because I'm dumb. I keep seeing my Steam list come up with like this guy is playing Skyrim. This guy is playing Skyrim. This guy is playing Skyrim. Is playing Skyrim. It's just one dude. <laughs> Constantly keep trying to jump in and out of Skyrim. He's a worny. <gasps> oh, what time is it? Fifty-one minutes past nine minutes to five. Nine to five. Working. Nine to five. Cause we got to earn a living. Riverville. Hi, crab. Crabby. to level up as well. Merchant. Oh, they're alive. No. Uh -oh. No. You will not take her away with you. I beg your pardon? You will not have her. Elfried stays with me and drop the disguise already. I know a god of death when I see one. I mean, I'm getting there. Not a god of death yet, but... Uh, what? Uh, my mic, my mic died. Oh, I didn't die it. Oh, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a nightmare. Anyway, uh, who are you? I wasn't expecting to meet anyone else out here. Save for the bandits, that is. Hmm. Long story. What do you do out here? You don't look like the adventurous no, type. No, I'm not. This ruin over there. You know, I'm a merchant, and my specialties are all kinds of things with historical background. The things you usually find in ruins. Of course, I'm usually not stupid enough to go looking for them myself, but there was this traveler from Ark who told me about this place, the Three River Watch, and he said that it's hardly guarded. Well, since I was in the area yeah, anyway, just, the I thought it wouldn't there. hurt to take a look. Great idea, really. I think I already looked in there. Look, I know we just met, but truth be told, I really got myself into some trouble here. And you, you look as if you know how to defend yourself. Something terrible happened, and I simply don't know what to do anymore. Hmm. It sounds like something terrible happened. 
Especially with the tone of your voice. Let me guess, it has nothing- it has to do with this Elfried. Yes, my Elfried. She was kidnapped. By the stars, I was so stupid. We were just about to make camp for the night, and I went to search for some firewood. Mm. And then, just like that, she's gone. I see. Any idea who took her? The bandits, maybe? No, a Vatir. I heard him grunting, you know? He lives in that damned ruin. I tried to sneak in, but it's impossible. And I can't go back to Riverville for help either. That would take way too long. Oh. Please, you have to help me. If anything happens to Elfried, I would never forgive myself. I think Elfried's dead. <laughs> uh. Oh, so oh by the ancient fathers. Thank you, and hurry. Walk blessed and stay safe. Night, already. Go over there and it's... What? Then I see a dead body over there. Right. Oh, this is a free river watch. Excuse me? Okay. I thought that was it over there. Or was it Three River Ruin or something? Town. The skeleton will be looking fine. I wonder what diet they would do. <laughs> Very, uh, fitting form. Definitely on the front page of Victoria's Secret. Definitely. Damn, Skull. I always look at these, um, I always look at these things and think, hmm, what if they open their eyes? Because they nearly always have closed eyes, okay, this, this one doesn't, but this one does. What if those eyelids just open up? It's just hyper-realistic eyes or something. Goblet. The Goblet of Fire? Pressure mark? Learning book, psionics. Ocean of resist fire. Ooh, wait, no. If keep keep sponge. A nice claw. The chair. Lovely. I love me a chair. Stuff do we have? 
We've got lots of stuff. Okay. Let's get net of souls. Use net of souls to find and collect. I need to put all my magic in certain stuff. Q. Make creatures undead. Uh, detect light. I don't really care about that. Boon. <laughs> I showed you my boons. Please respond. Grounding. Uh, it's only really important against mages. Flames is probably honestly better. Meditation. Ah. Tier 1. Allows you to see souls with an unlock tier. Oh. Oh. Psionic push. Summon ghostly wolf. Yeah. Focus. Hmm. Well, that could be. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, it's getting too dark. I say that because my my tracking just got completely fucked. Ooh, I should probably uh, make some food about now. Um. Memories and sins of each of you should Psyonix and Entropy. Psyonix spells... What's going to do? Depth Concentration. All elemental spells do 13% more damage. Format. Uh hmm. We are going for Dark Mage after all. Um we, I mean I suppose we can do Although I don't know if I can, because I, I want to go up this route, but I'm not sure if I can choose that route and it'll be definite. Uh, let's just try it on Sinistrope first. Okay, so it's not definite. Cool. Great. Why well, did just kind of waste that point a little bit? Do I have any? How do I know what's. Oh. So entropy is a ghostly wolf. Uh, what was the other thing? Psionics? What's, what's part of. Psionic and entropy? And I have. Two psionics. Cool. Okay. Uh, why? There you go. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's pointless. I thought, yeah.
Meditation is pointless. Let's see. I can see souls around. Okay. Let me just, uh, audio, music. Turn the master down. Yep. And, uh, we'll take a break for a second. Um, Actually, uh, no, this, this would probably be a good time to end it actually because I want to make myself some food and food's going to take a while to make. I kind of have to focus on the food making. So, uh, yeah. We've been going for about three and a half hours, which isn't bad. Yeah, okay, fine. I will ooh, save and quit. Yes, very quiet. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Right, I wanted to thank everyone that uh, came around. Uh, obviously, it's been nice coming back to this. Uh, very chill, very nice. Glad that uh, everyone that joined me could join me. Um, I'm glad I can come back to stream actually as well. Uh, yeah, thanks to everyone that came in. Thanks to everyone that stayed. Thanks to nobody followed this session. Uh, and we have a good rest of your nights, evenings, afternoons, mornings, whatever the fuck. I'll see you guys around. And again, thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.